us and impressed everybody. So proud of you. You're at $30,000. This is a very pivotal part of the game because you are five questions away from a million. Okay. One question to get to that 50,000. Now, last we left, everybody, you used one of those special lifelines here on WizKids Week, and that is cut the question. So you got to look at one $50,000 question. You cut it. Now you're going to get a look at the second and final yeah. $50,000 question. But you still have two more lifelines, your 50-50 and your plus one, which you can use on this next question. All right, you ready to go? Yep. Let's get back into the game. Let's get to $50,000. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay. Here's your new $50,000 question. Born almost exactly 50 years after the Civil War, someone who is 100 years old today has lived through roughly what percentage of U.S. history? 11%, 25%, 42%, 61%. So born almost exactly 50 years after the Civil War. So when I think Civil War, I think about 1863-ish. So let's just say that's about 1913. So if he was born almost exactly 1913, someone who's 100 years old today has lived through roughly what percentage of U.S. history? So, so 1776 is when the United States started. Um, or that's when the Declaration of Independence was signed, so that's kind of when America gained its independence. Uh, 1776 is how much about? So, so I think 240 years the United States have been independent. So 240 and someone who is 100 years old today, 240, so 100 over 240. So all I have to do is find the answer is divide, um, wait, so 100, so 100 out of 240. So let's just say it's about 100 over 250, okay? So, so if you do 100 divided by 2.5, what do you get? So I'm going to go with C. Yeah, I'm going to go with C, 42%, final answer. Like I said, incredible to watch. Incredible! That's right! $50,000, soldiers! That's a threshold you're safe. Really impressive young man. You've been an absolute delight to watch, but we're not done. You are four away. Look at that. You are four questions away from a million. And this question, you're gonna take a shot at because you're on a threshold, you can't lose money. So you're gonna take a shot at this $100,000 question. You still have two lifelines, by the way. Your poor dad's been sitting back here for like five <laughs> days. And you have your 50-50, mm. all right? Good luck to you. you ready you. to continue? Yes. Let's play, who wants to be a millionaire? $100,000 question. When multiplied by itself, which number is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Is it? Bear with me. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Or one, 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 one. Or one, 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 one. Okay. Okay. I could reread that, but it won't help you. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm just thinking, okay, so if I have, let's just say two, um, two digit numbers, okay, let's just say 20 and 40, I would get um, eight, and then you have two zeros, so I have to keep up with those, so 800, okay? So, so pretty much what I did was I just took out the, I just focused on, or I took away the least or highest digit, and then counted how many there are. So if it's, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's seventeen. Okay, so let's see one, two, three, four, five. Two lifelines, fifty, fifty, and plus one that you can use. I think I have an idea. So if I say, let's just take Z. That's about ten billion. Okay. So if I have. 10 billion multiplied by itself, one. How many zeros do I have? One, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 zeros I have. And then if I were to multiply it by itself, you have 20 zeros. I guess that's the closest to, well, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, okay, 16. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so if it's B, then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 times 2 is 16 because, um, I don't know how to explain it. Um, <laughs> If I'm multiplying by itself, I ha would have um, eight zeros. So if I were to multiply 100 million by 100 million, you would have 16 zeros. You're just multiplying the number by two. So I'm guessing that's kind of what you do again. I'm gonna go with, see, I'm just check my work again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Makes sense. So I'm gonna go with B, one, B, <laughs> final answer. great thing about this show, you don't have to show your work. You got it right! $100,000! Oh my god. And I like in the middle of that, you basically said, I don't know how to dumb it down for you. No, no. <laughs> you were at $100,000. You're three away from a million. Yeah. 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 I was trying to think if I've ever seen anybody get to the quarter of a million dollar question and still have two lifelines. You still have the 50-50, you still have your plus one, your dad is behind you, mm -hmm. should you need them. I can't imagine why you ever would. You have done all of this pretty much by yourself and it has been incredible. Great journey, but we're not done yet. You're three mm -hmm. questions away, just three away from the million. Take Exciting. a deep breath and let's do it. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, my man. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Everybody's behind you. $250,000 question. This is it. Speaking in terms of total geographic area, which of these statements is true? Argentina is larger than India. Egypt is smaller than Turkey. Brazil is larger than Australia. Canada is smaller than China. Okay, so Canada, smaller China, that's, that's out. Okay, and then Egypt and Turkey. I'm not sure about that one. Um, Brazil is larger than Australia. Okay, so I know that the largest is Russia. Second is Canada. Third is, um, third and fourth are kind of debated between the United States and China. I guess, or, I don't know why. If I remember correctly, I think the way I remember this is Brazil is fifth largest in population as well as in area. So I think that's why I remember it the best. Okay. Argentina is larger than India. That's not right. India is bigger. So A and D are out. B, I'm not sure. C, I think I'm pretty sure. Um, cause it, Russia, Canada. Then you have United States or China, whichever order. Then Brazil, I think. I think that's right. Brazil is larger than Australia. That makes sense. I'm going to go with C. Brazil is larger than Australia. Final answer. <sighs> rushed into that one. But you got it right! Yeah! You got it right! Yeah! Savages! Look at this! $250,000! Savages, <laughs> oh. so what's going through your mind right now? Um, I guess they hope to get to a million and not. <laughs> it's a simple game. And look at that ladder that you have climbed. You're about to get a look at a $500,000 question. Let's hope it's not written Japanese or something. Is it getting like really harder? <laughs> yeah, and I want to remind you, you have two lifelines. You have a 50-50 and you have your plus one. Your dad's still here. Yeah. All right, brother. Got this. Good luck to you. Thanks. Here we go. Five hundred thousand dollar question is on the board. According to Instagram, in July of 2010, its CEO and co-founder Kevin Systrom tested the app by posting its first ever photo. What was the photo of? A sunset, a dog, a bowl of ramen. Kevin Systrom. On second thought, can I have the Japanese question? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um, Half a million dollars, you still get a sense of humor. There really isn't any clue in the question, so I can't go with that. 
I guess I might as well, um, I'm trying to remember, did I, s see, I'm not really in social media, so this is not helping. Uh, is your plus one? Yes, yes. Um, I'm gonna use 50-50 first before I use my plus one. Final? Final. Okay, we finally get to use this 50-50. We'll take away two incorrect answers. You're left with a dog or Kevin's sister. Yeah, I'm gonna use my plus one too. Final? Final. All right, let's bring your dad down. How are you doing? Hi, thank you. Thank you. Hey, you Samir. Yes. This uh, boy here. Yeah, I'm in a terrible bind here. <laughs> if, I, if I suggest a wrong answer, he'll blame the rest of my life for that. <laughs> Do you have any idea? Do you know what her? Because I'm thinking of this one. Well, I think I remember it was probably a dog. But I, you know, it's, it's an Instagram. So it's probably possible that I mean, even he could have also put his picture on him, on, on that. I mean, like, there is a dog filter that people ought oh, to use, but maybe it comes from that. I don't know, though. Again, now you're out of lifelines. You're at $250,000. That is always yours to walk away with. You're risking $200,000. Yeah. This is a shot to get to half a million, though. And then to get a look at the million dollar question. Yeah. Are you that confident? I almost remember seeing that it was a dog, but it's so silly as an answer that I get nervous about claiming that I know for sure. It's a lot of money at stake. Yeah. I think, do you want to just walk? I think. Yeah. I think. It's your call. You, I gave you my word. I think it's probably a dog, but I'm not so 100% sure. Yeah. I wouldn't risk it. I'm walking. I'm going to walk. Final. Congratulations! By the way... Please tell me it's D. I don't know if you want to know this. It was a dog. Uh, yeah. It was B. He's happy. Hey, 250! Incredible, my man. Truly a pleasure. Very proud. We'll be back. More Millionaire right after this.